Okay, this is The Girl I Left Behind, Part 2. When we last left off, we were working on the first part. Um, again, open up with the G major 2 octave scale. I'm going to go ahead and play the first part of the song to kind of get us up to speed. I'll probably play, let's just play the entire song slowly to get us a context for the melody, okay? Here we go, slowly. <laughs> probably notice that on the second part of the song um, there is of course a different um, progression of notes but after this new progression is played it kind of harkens back it goes back to the first part and you actually repeat um, the exact same notes that you played in the first part of the song so let's break this down the second part of the girl left behind it starts on a third finger on the D string which is a G and we're going like this that's a three on the D string open A First finger. So we're going to go. All right. Three, open A, one. Play that. Okay. Third finger on the A string. So we're doing three on the D string. A, first finger, three. Play that. that again we're gonna add this to it now so we just walk up from the open E we add a first finger and a second finger get to that G we're gonna do this ready play that just hear it slowly Okay, we're going to add this to it now. We're going to go to a third finger on the A string directly after that second finger on the E string, okay? And we're going to go to a first finger on the A string after that. Play that, ready? Okay, this is what we're going to add next. Open A, all right? So what we did there, we just walked right back up, okay? So we're going to do... First, second. So you're literally just going back and walking back up the same notes that you just walked down from. So we're going. One, three, open E. One, two, one. Okay. Here we go. This is the easy part. We, so we get to that part, play that a few times, and we're going to just go through it, and then, then that's the part where it just goes back to the beginning. Or not the beginning, but it goes back to the same notes that we played in the A part. So if you familiarized yourself with the first part of the song, 
that um, the last part that we just did there should be very easy. It's just literally repeating what we did earlier. Work on this, break it down into parts, pause it whenever you need to, and see if you can have the second part polished. Good luck.